Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin'sPlugins.com and what I want to show you now is a kind of a practical demonstration of the new uh, repeatable upload field in Easy Content Types uh, version 2.4.2. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is how to create a gallery system using the repeatable upload fields. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to attach it to the events custom post type that we actually created in the previous section to this displaying content with easy content types series. Um, so we're going to simply take our event system that we have here that we created in the uh, creating a simple event system with easy content types and we're going to expand it a little bit so that when we click into a single event aside from just having the content of the event, we're actually going to show a gallery for that event, some photos for that gallery as well. Um, so we have all these different events right here, and we're going to add a photo gallery to them. So that's actually really, really easy. Uh, so let's just go in here. Uh, as long as you have Easy Content Types version 2.4.2, uh, which was made available this morning, uh, you have a new field type called Repeatable Upload. So let's add a new field and let's call it uh, event photos. Upload photos for the event. And let's add the field. Okay, great. So we now have the repeatable upload field. So let's go to our events and let's take a look at them. So we've got this event right here called potluck dinner. Um, and we have all of our information here. And we have a new meta box field called event photos and you can see it's got an upload button and it also has an add new button so if we click add new you see that there's a new upload field and we can do that multiple times if we want so let's upload an image for the first one uh, and we're going to go just choose a nice photo from our Dropbox I'm gonna upload that and then what we're gonna do is we're just going to insert um, it as medium for now Okay, there we can see the URL. Now we're gonna upload another one. And something to note with this upload field is that when you insert the image, it is going to insert as the chosen size that you've cho uh, selected here. So you wanna make sure that you uh, choose the right size. Let's, let's just do four photos. So we're gonna add in that other one. And now we're gonna do one more. Okay, there's our last photo done. Insert into post. Okay, so now we simply click update. And once you click update, you also notice that uh, next to each field, uh, excuse my screen size, uh, which is actually causing this to shrink down a little bit. Uh, you can see that if I expand my screen just a little bit, whoops, now our layout works a little better. So maybe that's a little bug I should update. But anyway, so with a slightly smaller screen, it might be down here. But now we can actually remove each of the images if we want. So we can simply get rid of that image. Or let's add in a new one, choose our photo. We can go to the gallery, and there it is, insert in the post. Okay, so all of our images are now available, um, and there's a couple of ways that we can display them. One way is we can use our short code. So if we go back over here to edit fields, we see we have a short code right here called ECPT field ID equals event photos. So let's go in here and let's just drop this short code in the bottom. Missing the first bracket. And let's take a look and see what that does. So let's go to potluck dinner. Okay, so the first thing it does is that it actually just outputs the URL. Well, that's not necessarily what we want to do. Uh, we want to output the image itself. Well, the shortcode has a parameter called image equals true. When we do that, it's going to automatically render each of the images. So here you can see each of the images now. Here they all are. Okay, great. Now let's now we want to style this just a little bit. Uh, so you can style this however you want. Let's just take a look at the source code and see how it outputted real quick. And we see it's in an unordered list called ECPT repeatable field. So let's go into our style sheet and I'm just running a child theme of the swagger uh, theme by Jason Bobich. So if we just do this, uh, let's first just reset this to margin zero, padding zero. 
take a look and see what that does. Okay, so now uh, we've got our nice full width images perfectly. Okay, now we notice we've got these bullets over here, so let's get rid of these bullets. Uh, let's actually just display them as a block element. Just like that. Okay, now you see the bullets are gone. Let me close my inspector just so you can see it a little bit better. Great. Okay, so um, that really worked really well, actually. Um, we have our four images. They're just all dropped right in here. Nice spacing. Uh, if we want, we can give them a little bit more spacing. So let's just go down here. Just say margin, zero, zero, 10 pixels. So that's 10 pixels on the bottom. Take a look. And now we have a little bit more space in there. Okay, um, and that's really all you need to do. Uh, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, let me show you how you can go a little bit further with it though. So let's say that we don't wanna do this with a short code. So let's get rid of the short code update. And now let's go over to our settings page and let's enable the automatic display for these events. So we're going to check the box that says, uh, check this box to automatically display repeatable upload fields. And we're going to check the box to enable the images to be rendered. So we do that. And now let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, we don't see it. So what's going on with this? Ah, we needed to check that box too. Okay, so here are our images. Uh, now you'll notice that we've lost our styling and that's because the automatic display actually uses a different HTML structure than the, the short code. So now let's modify this a little bit. So let's go in here and this is called ECPT meta if you're using the automatic display function, just like that. Okay, let's go and just see what that does to us. Okay, that's getting pretty close, uh, but let's we wanna go further than that. So now let's style each of, we have each of these, uh, the, the date, the event time, et cetera. Uh, so we have ECPT date, ECPT date field, text field, repeatable, but each one of them has an ECPT field. So if we do this, let's get rid of these spaces right here. Dot ECPT field, just like that. Um, let's give them Let's give them bold. Okay, there we go. That works nicely. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that everything inside of those elements is not bold. So any text, etc. Okay. Oops, that didn't work. Ah, that's not what I want to do. I want to do it like this, dot ECPT field name. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so now uh, let's get rid of this display block. Refresh. Okay, so now what we want to do is, no, actually I do want the block. Sorry, I'm changing my mind. Okay. So now let's go in here. We want to actually make the images render well. So we go here to the repeatable upload field and we see that we have a new list called ECPT repeatable field values. So let's take that. And that is the unordered list. So we'll give that a margin of zero, a padding of zero. having a problem with these spaces here. Okay, um, and now let's go in here and set these list items to display block. And let's take a look and see what that does. Okay, so now that's getting really, really close to the way that our short codes worked. Uh, actually, that looks, that looks pretty good right there. That keeps our margin. Uh, it's got the full width spacing, event photos. We could change that up a little bit. So let's take a look at this. Uh, event photos, that's ECPT field name, that's a div. So let's just go in here and say um, field name, let's just give it a margin like this. Okay, there, that's a little bit better of a margin. Now, 
we want to fix this one up here. That should not be. Uh, no, we'll leave that for now. That's fine. Okay, so there you go. That's how you can create a really basic photo gallery with the repeatable upload field in easy content types. Um, it's a piece of cake. It's it's one up. It's one field that you can simply add as many photos as you want. Uh, you can display it with a short code as we did originally, or you can display it with the automatic display function here in settings. There's also a template tag that you can use to display uh, these as well, which is described inside of documentation. Uh, but it's a really powerful new field, and I hope you take advantage of it. And it can be used for photo galleries, thumbnail galleries, uh, file URLs. It could just be a list of downloadable files. It can be anything. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you like it.